There are several water bodies all over the world, but we are not ready for the years of secrets they hold right there in the deep. However, when there is climate change and, unfortunately, water begins to dry up from the lakes, we should get prepared to make some terrifying discoveries. Stay tuned as we unveil the terrifying discoveries found in Lake Mead as the water dries up, right here in a secret world. Lake Mead is one of the popular water bodies and became the first national recreation area in 1964. This stunning body of water has been a top attraction for thrill-seekers who love to zip across its waves on jet skis and beachgoers soaking up the sun. But wait, there's more to the story. The once lush lake has now become a symbol of America's severe climate crisis, and scientists are stunned by its rapid transformation. Lake Mead, located in the southwestern United States, is a man-made wonder created by the mighty Hoover Dam on the Colorado River. It's not just any lake. It's the biggest reservoir in the country with a massive water storage capacity. This means that 25 million people and sprawling farmlands rely on Lake Mead for their water supply. Located just 24 miles from the glitz and glam of Las Vegas, Lake Mead straddles the states of Nevada and Arizona and even reaches parts of Mexico and California. The lake is filled with water from snowmelt in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, Wyoming, and Utah, and from the upstream Glen Canyon Dam, which must release a whopping 8.23 million acre-feet of water each year. The Hoover Dam plays a crucial role in regulating the inflow of water to Lake Mead, releasing 9 million acre-feet of water annually, while the remaining volume comes from tributaries that flow into Lake Mead or join the Colorado River below Glen Canyon. The dam was built with a purpose, to provide a residential water supply, produce hydroelectric power, irrigate farms, and manage floods and silt. With almost 7 million visitors a year, Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam are popular tourist destinations, with around 1 million people taking tours inside the dam. Surrounded by remnants of a bygone era, you'll see a blender covered in grime, cracked dishes, and other objects that tell a story. Despite its current state, Lake Mead continues to attract new kinds of visitors who come to see the treasures hidden beneath the recently exposed shoreline. The lake's water level has drastically changed, revealing a high watermark or bathtub ring along the shoreline. The mineral deposits left on previously submerged surfaces have turned the bathtub ring a brilliant white. The horizon is also marked by the scattered boats that were once submerged, reminding us of how quickly things can change from perfect to desert it. In 1938, the last resident of St. Thomas, Nevada, was forced to evacuate due to the accumulating water from the Hoover Dam. But now, due to Lake Mead's low water level, the ruins of St. Thomas are accessible through a dirt road and hiking trail. Several shocking mysteries have emerged at Lake Mead. Between May and August 2022, the bones of five individuals were found in dried-up lake areas. A diver reported discovering more human remains in the lake, which investigators later determined were from a person shot in the head. The remains were discovered in a barrel on May 1st of the previous year. On a newly exposed section of coastline near Boulder Beach, the body of a decades-old murder victim was also found inside an eroding barrel, believed to have been thrown offshore in the 1970s or 1980s. The DNA of a man who vanished 45 years ago is being checked against the remains. Further remains, including those of a 2002 drowning victim, were uncovered in the receding waters in the following months. When questioned by ABC News, both the Lake Mead National Recreation Area and the Las Vegas Metro Police Department had little to say about the missing remains. Although the investigation is ongoing, some experts with knowledge of Las Vegas' history of organized crime have speculated that there may be ties to the Mafia. Jeff Schumacher, a mob historian and vice president of exhibitions and programs at the Mob Museum in Las Vegas, commented that much of Las Vegas' gang history is unknown as the evidence was destroyed and set on fire. However, he believes that materials dumped into Lake Mead over time may reveal what truly happened. The discovery of bones in a barrel at Lake Mead shocked the local community and sparked a series of investigations. The bones are believed to be those of an individual who was shot in the head, a stark contrast to the other four deaths identified this year, which were ruled accidental drownings. T. 
Bettina Bushman, who lost her father, Thomas Arendt, in 2002 while on vacation with her family at Lake Mead, is particularly worried about the recent discoveries. She fears that if her father's remains are ever found, they might be wrongly linked to the mafia rumors surrounding the unidentified barrel remains. Bushman has fond memories of visiting Lake Mead with her family as a child. They lived close to Las Vegas and visited the lake every weekend, going for late-night swims in the lake in a boat. In 2002, during one such visit, Thomas tried to call for help after failing to return to the boat but ultimately perished. Despite a thorough search, his body was never found. Years later, Bushman has heard about the recent discoveries of bodies in the water and is holding out hope that one of them might be her father. However, she is also cautious and realizes that after all these years, it is unlikely that they will be able to find him. Despite her reservations, Bushman is still hopeful and believes that if there is even the slightest chance that her father's remains might be found, it is worth pursuing. She wants closure for her family and to finally lay her father to rest. On May 7th, two siblings made a shocking discovery near Lake Mead that finally brought the answers the Bushman family had been waiting for. Lynette Melvin told Impact that she stepped on something while walking with her sister, and upon closer inspection, they realized it was a skull. Initially thinking it could be sheep bones, they started to dig around in the sand, but their suspicions were confirmed when they found a jawbone with healthy teeth, including a filling. A month after the bones were discovered, a DNA test confirmed that they belonged to Thomas Ernt. The news brought mixed emotions for Lynette, who was glad that the Bushman family would finally have closure after all these years. The discovery marked a turning point in their search for answers and allowed them to find peace after a long and difficult journey. By August 15, 2022, four more bodies were found at Lake Mead. The decreasing water levels of the reservoir have garnered national attention due to these discoveries and the exposure of historical artifacts such as a World War II landing craft. This has attracted a diverse group of amateur treasure hunters, explorers, and curious onlookers to the area in search of the artifacts that are now visible on the dry lake bed. One such artifact that has gained significant notoriety is the sinking wreck of a World War II Higgins boat, which emerged from the receding waters near the popular marinas of Hemingway Harbor. The ribbed body of the boat protrudes from the water's surface, resembling a fossilized fish skeleton. However, the boat's engine has been removed and it has been partially gutted. The remaining U-shaped portion of the boat is still hidden beneath the murky waters and thick layers of silt, protected by its defensive armor. The body of the boat is covered in rust and dotted with small shells and underwater flora. The amphibious landing craft, designed to transport U.S. troops from ships to open beaches, has a rich history of serving its purpose. Over the years, this versatile vessel has been used in and around the lake for various purposes, making it a valuable addition to the lake's infrastructure. The boat is now partially submerged, but it appears to defy gravity as it stands firmly embedded in the park's silt. The lake around it has receded, leaving the boat as a curious sight in the middle of the dry land. This has made it a popular destination for tourists who come to marvel at its unique appearance and take pictures of the historic artifact. The area is also home to numerous other submerged boats, which are now hidden between the twigs of frail bushes or perched on sand flats created by the receding beaches. These boats have been underwater for years and have taken on a unique appearance, with submerged vegetation sticking to their control panels and being crusted with layers of dirt. Despite the harsh conditions, some boats seem unaffected by the years spent below, and their appearance has largely remained unchanged. For those who are interested in history, engineering, or just a good adventure, visiting the partially submerged amphibious landing craft is a must-see attraction. Whether you're a seasoned explorer or a curious tourist, you'll be sure to marvel at this incredible feat of human ingenuity and the natural wonders that have surrounded it over the years. Despite the passing of many decades, numerous artifacts remain buried deep in the dirt, reaching hundreds of feet below the surface. One such artifact is the B-29 Super Fortress, a plane that crashed into the reservoir's northern Overton Arm 74 years ago and sank to the bottom due to a critical altitude error and its heavy frame. The crash site, which was once more than 200 feet below the surface, was once a popular diving spot. But as the water levels have dropped by about 100 feet, the park has banned diving while it figures out how to preserve the ancient artifact 
in the increasingly shallow waters. The aluminum body of the plane is now covered in invasive muscle colonies from years of being submerged in the reservoir's depths, and a stretched-out parachute, which was caught while the crew members safely ejected, can be seen inside the wrecked cockpit. The Beat 29 Superfortress remains an awe-inspiring sight for those who are fascinated by the history of aviation and the remarkable resilience of human engineering. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation predicts that the water levels of Lake Mead will continue to decrease until at least 2024. The Bureau also anticipates that 2023 will be warmer than previous years, as the last nine years from 2014 to 2022 have officially been recorded as the nine hottest on record, causing continued evaporation and putting pressure on the lake level to drop. Mysteries surround us, and we are blessed to witness some of them. Well, let us know what you think of this discovery in the comments. Kindly like, share, and subscribe for more amazing discoveries. Thanks for watching.